If you'd like to learn how you can create these awesome mind-blowing web designs using Midjourney, then please stay tuned, this will blow your mind. Welcome everyone to my channel, my name is Rick and let's start our journey with the famous Midjourney. So let's explain what Midjourney is. Midjourney is an artificial intelligence art generation service that was launched in mid-2022 and why developers or web designers would want to use this tool. Well, as I mentioned, the Mid Journey is AI-based art generator that generates mind-blowing images from our descriptions. Oh, our own words, you heard me. So we type something, we provide description to Mid Journey and it will create something like this. Now, this is very similar to Dolly 2 that I have covered in my previous chat GPT course. So if you haven't watched that one, please, you can do that. Now, there you go. So how you can access this site? Well, you can go to Meet Journey. You can go on Google and type Meet Journey and just click on meetjourney.com. And here there are two things. You need to, if you have Discord account, you can just sign in or you, and join this Meet Journey community. Or if you don't have, you need to join the beta, right? And here, this is the community, Meet Journey. Look at how many millions of members it has over 10 million members. And this is the amount of members that are online. So after you have done everything, they will please make sure that you use your real email address because they will send you confirmation emails, right? So use your email address, go through all of the steps. And after you're done, you accept, you give access to Meet Journey to access your Discord, Discord account. So after all of that is done, when you go back here and you sign in, this is what you're gonna get, right? Now here, from here, you need to choose a room, right? And you probably should pick this new Newbies 106 room, right? If there's, if you can use this one. And in this here, you can see creations from other curious minds, like just like yours, that tries to see the power of Mid Journey, right? Now, before we get started with this, uh, please note that there are 25, you have a limit of 25 free images. After that, you need to pay. So, but you can create another account under different email and you can try more, right? So there you go. So why a developer or designer will want to use this tool? Well, a developer and designer will like to use this tool because it can generate designs in a matter of minutes, right? So imagine that you have a vision how you uh, how a website should look like, and with the help of Mid Journey, you can create different versions of that websites in minutes. So all you need to do is to write the prompt. And how are you gonna do this? Well, here you need to do forward slash imagine and select this one, and it will tell you here is where you write the prompt. And let's start writing our first prompt. So you imagine that you've been approached by a company that wants to create a, a website that will sell fancy drinks. And let's do this. So here is where we write the description. There is no wrong or right way how to do this, right? But I'm just going to give you um, hints how you can write more descriptive prompts because if you write as much more descriptive, the output will be vibrant and unique. And if you type the same prompt that I will do, you're probably going to end up with different outputs. So let's do this. Let's create a website that will sell unique dreams to people. So what we need to do, select here, look, right, and start typing a modern website landing page uh, for a drinks company, comma, realistic, comma, web design, then UX, forward slash UI, then we have UX, UI again, glass, black, what else we have, black, and green, oops, and white, these are the colors that are gonna be used. Don't worry about anything else. 4K, that's the resolution, dash dash V4, and dash dash stylize 500. So if I click enter here, so yeah, here it is, mine one, where is it? Saying that it started, right? And we need to wait, right? You don't freak out. So I'm just gonna pause the video and here is the result. I have four, so if you click here, I have four images, right? 
So they're all different and we will learn what all of this means in one second. Don't worry about it. Now let's discuss about it. So we want to create a modern website that is realistic. This is the style that I want the website to be. So it can be minimalistic, futuristic, whatever you want. The UX, UI part is something that if you're a web developer, you will probably know about. So this is what I want to be included here. What colors I want to be included. 4K is the resolution and this dash dash version four is all new code base, right? So in short, this will provide much more detailed and better scene composition and sometimes better object proportions. And this stylized 500, it allows us uh, to make the generations like this more beautiful, complex, detailed from the background to the subject. And we can just put numbers from zero to a thousand and 100 is the default. So 4K is the resolution. So this is in short, whatever you want. Now, if you look at this, this is not a real website. It doesn't look like a real website, right? The, even if we mention that, oh, here, instead of design, I just put something like this M at the end, but it doesn't matter. It, the output will be something similar to this. So if you want to get some output similar to any existing web layouts out there, you can pass the URL of that image. So here on Google, I found this layout of this website. So I just want something similar like this. So the menu should be on top. This should be a section, the hero section image, then what we do and things like that. So what you need to do is to grab the copy image address, right? And go back to your Discord here. Click here, the arrows. Oh, I need to write it again. Imagine, let's do it again. So first things we need to pass the URL. And remember, this URL should be the image. So .jpg or PNG, whatever should uh, format the images, it should be here. It should not be like a link like to normal URL address. Okay, be careful. So here, whatever we want to, so a modern website design or so, sorry, landing page design. Let me just copy it here, right? So I'm just gonna reuse it. That will be super fast, right? And let's change this design, okay? And let's hit enter. Now what will happen, It again, it will take a little bit, so I'm gonna pause the video. And here are the four designs, look. Now these, images that were created are will take cues from the URL, right? From this URL. Look at this, it's similar. And also from the prompt, from the text prompt. So it will take tips from both of them and create something for us, right? Now, great, this looks like a website right now. So let's discuss the V and U under the designs. So here we have U1 until U4 and V1 until V4. So the U stands for upscale. And we can do that by choosing the upscale button here, whichever we want, that correspond to the image. The upscaling will pull, pull the image out of the grid and make it will make it larger. For example, which one we like? Um, let's go with this one, with the first one. So I'm just gonna upscale it and look. Uh, here it is, upscaling, and it shouldn't take so long, but it takes a lot of people are using this, and it's, you will be distracted by all of this, right? I hope that by the time you're doing this, you will not get so many, here it is, it's still running. I'm just going to pause the video again, and this is the upscaled image, so what you can do, you can click on it. You can save the image as, and you can go to your desktop, and yeah, you can save it like this. How cool is this? Now you can edit this image and use it in your designs. Now, this is one thing, but the V1 and V2, V3, and V4 will create a versions of that one, right? So they will create, they will actually, so the V buttons make ver variations of that image. So if you like, 
For example, the first one, you click on that and it will generate four similar images or versions or generations. And we are done with the basic prompts, right? But what we, if we want to create a mobile app design for the same website, what we can do, we need to just change a couple of things in the prompt and we will have a mobile app design that we can show to our employer or the in this case will be the drinks company so all i need to do is here it is i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna copy it just gonna go here and imagine right so we need to change the problem i'm gonna paste everything and also i'm gonna use uh that link oh not that link actually the link from the address right from the image, sorry. So you go there, you paste it. So let's change the prompt. So in a modern website, we should say a mobile app, app and design, let's say design for a drinks company and everything else should be the same. So if I hit enter return, Again, it will take a while until it's loaded. And here it is. Look, it's start going into percentage. So 93%. It's fast. So look at this. Where did it go? Here it is. So we have a mobile app for different designs of this mobile app. So we can show it to the to the employer. And I can click for example, from all of this, I really like the first one. Let's do V1 and see about the generations. Here it is. Cancel the job. If you want to cancel it, you can cancel it. And yeah, this was fast. So it will create a four different variations of that chosen design. How cool is this? 55%. It's slow because a lot of people are using it. Good. And where did it go? Hmm, crazy today. Let me just get it here. Come on, come on. There it is. So we have four variation of that one. Or no, that was not it. There it is, actually. Yes, there's a four variations. Different glass, different way, different, different styles. Okay, so that this is how you can create the mobile app designs but if you want to show the company only sketches so this will be very easy so if you want to show them a sketches you need to create a different prompt so i'm going to just copy what i have here it is i'm just gonna copy everything and yeah again imagine paste there here and say sketch for a modern website landing page for a drinks company and everything else should be same hit enter return and it will generate sketches for us so yeah this is what you most likely will start with because every company will require you to have sketches right before you do something and where did it go um yep i lost it here it is there you go and these are the four sketches okay now we have created the website the mobile app the sketches and finally, we can also do a logo. We need a logo. So what we can do, we can generate logos very fast. Let me just close this one. So what we need to do is to type imagine. Yep, like that. And yeah, I'm just going to paste the previous one. And I'm going to delete here. So I'm going to say logo design. For a drinks company, it should be simple, simple, um, yeah, I'm going to remove this web design, UX, UI, 
I'm gonna just use the glass black and green colors I'm just gonna put there here colors um, I'm gonna say modern and I'm just gonna delete everything I'm gonna say style of the stylized 500 and hit return and here it is look at this so perfect so yeah I would really like to go with the version so let's upscale this one version 2 so you too and yeah it will upscale it for us how cool is this so we can save it save the image now if you're a web developer designer right um, you would like to use this logo clean up a little bit write a different text and use it so there are different ways how you can do it but this gets you ideas how you can just use these designs for your own website so if you are a web designer you will figure out okay now I have the web now I have designs I have the ideas I can change it I can just add different text I can cut things from here and just use it in my designs and this will just impress your uh, boss or your employers so as you can see the mid journey is amazing AI tool because we started with just a simple prompt then we create a website design we used an image from a layout so this is a from a layout that I choose so you can find a different ones right so make sure that you copy the image address right not address like this it will not work you will have problems and based on your description and the image address it will just get the best of those two and it will create a design for you and you can use that design now in future I will create probably videos how we can use these images that I've downloaded from here just to clean them and use them as to create a real website right but for now you can watch the chat GPT and Python videos they're awesome and yeah so take care if you like and enjoyed this video share and subscribe and I will see you in my next one